it's garage sale season. Everybody knows that. So we went up, we hit up a couple of sales. There was one that was listed. We already knew what was there. And there was some really good stuff. So let's just flip over camera, show you what we got. We got a whole box full of Mattel Elite Basics and some laser discs. We'll go more in detail when we get home. Forgot to mention also in that sale where we got the wrestling stuff, there was a Atari Lynx adapter there too. Guy just threw it in the lot because I'm like, uh, how much? He goes, you know what? You could take it. So yeah, I also got this. I don't know. It was cool. It uh, looks sort of new in here. So yeah, but forgot to show you that this was also in that uh, deal. Let's go through everything we got from the garage sale. Before we get to the figures, let's go through the laser discs. We got here a Monty Python and the Holy Grail. And what's cool is it has an HMV price sticker, which sticker makes it sicker. The sticker is actually cool to see a lot of these old stickers, and it even has an import sticker, so that's pretty dope. It's also the Criterion Collection version, which is even better. We have here Pyro, the Creature of the Flames, which is a classic B-horror movie. You know, B-horror movies are always good. And then we have here Yojimbo, the Criterion Collection. This one will be added to my personal collection because I collect Akira Kurosawa films. And two of my other Akira Kurosawa films are also from the Criterion Collection. So this will be added to the collection. And then finally in the Laserdisc stuff, we have a widescreen letterbox special edition of The Abyss. These special editions tend to do all right. They're, you know, like about 20 to 30 bucks usually. So it's not bad. So for all of these lot here, um, they wanted, well, well, initially what they wanted was two bucks a piece on them. And I just said, you know what, why don't we bundle it and throw it into the price we're already agreeing with, with the uh, wrestlers. And they said, yeah, sure, whatever. So let's go through the box of wrestlers. There's a lot of them. We have here a Then Now Forever Undertaker. And don't worry about these price stickers. I, I got a good deal on them. We got a Heat Slater. These, these are all Mattel basics, but they're old Mattel basics that... Well, good luck finding them. Or there's people like, you know, like here, the Kevin Owens, then now forever NXT championship title. Uh, we have here a Chris Jericho, then now forever. I remember back in the market, I used to get these brand new because they would sell in the store at that time. They would sell for $14.99 and I would snag them for $10. bucks. i would make 5 bucks. But now people actually like some of these old basics. And by the way, there was other another box of wrestlers, but that one, the guys that got paid more for them, we couldn't come to a deal, so I walked away from it. Uh, we got here a Tyson Kid. These are these are from like 2014 to 2016 era. There's a Bret Hart. This one is actually a good Bret Hart for basics. There is a Summer Rae. First time in the line, Summer Ray. There's Dolph Ziggler. Cesaro, now, um, what's his name now? Um, Claudio Casagnoli. A Roman Reigns. This is a really good one. There was a guy there when I was um, trying to work a deal, kept grabbing this specific Roman Reigns and kept going on his phone. He looked at it, and I quickly looked over him like he's trying to price it. I was making a phone call, but I, I, the guy, the guy I was working the deal with told him, if he doesn't take it, you can have this one. So glad I got it. Uh, Razor Ramon from the same line. Sheamus from when he returned, and I don't remember. Did he win the WWE title again? But this was when he returned back with the Mohawk look for the first time. Um, we have Cesaro. Now, we're missing one. If he's in here, we have the whole WrestleMania set. Yes, we do. Eddie Guerrero. This one's mine. I'm keeping the Eddie. This is the 2015 WrestleMania line. I'm keeping the Eddie for myself. We have a Adrian Neville now going as Pac. A then now forever figure. There's a lot of figures we got here. Cry back. That's right. Cry back. Uh, I, I don't know. Is he, is, do anyone still care for him? I don't know. Uh, let's keep going through. Uh, Dean Ambrose, now John Moxley. Corporate Kane. Stone Cold Steve Austin. 
This one actually has a metal sticker on the back. All of these don't, but except this one. Yeah. And then lastly, we have when Seth Rollins was wearing all white. Well, uh, yeah, there we go. That's a there was a nice little score we got here because this one I saw the ad for it and I was like, you know what? I should go after it. Uh, maybe there's a shot. I so I was willing to drive. We drove there. We grabbed it. There was three three or four other sales. There's nothing there, but this one we made a really good deal. There's gonna these all of these. I will have to go through them, clean them up because they're dusty as hell. Because the guy did say it was in his basement, so I got to clean them up, dust them up, uh, price them out, and they will be either they'll be on the eBay or they'll be on Marketplace, Kijiji. But just keep an eye out. I'll let you guys know when when we go through all these. But there's going to be a good profit here. And then with the laser disc, I'm keeping the the Akira Kurosawa the Yajin ball, but the rest of them will be on eBay because those we put on eBay for sure. Keep an eye out. Anyways, remember, as always, enjoy life. Keep on collecting. We'll have the links to our eBay in the description below. We'll also have links to our Instagram as well in the links below. And if you're not yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Anyways, as always, enjoy life. Keep on collecting. We'll see y'all for another video.